Cambridge police are hoping surveillance photos might help them solve the heartless murder of a Cambridge teenager gunned down on her own street. Tonight on New England's Unsolved Exclusive, new evidence in the murder of Charlene Holmes. Our Bob Ward joins us now with the story, Bob. Well, Maria Anok, the murder of Charlene Holmes was shocking. The popular teenager was simply talking to a friend when she was gunned down. Two years later, there's still no arrest, but Cambridge police are exclusively releasing to New England's Unsolved surveillance photos of the killer's car. They hope the photos will help them catch Charlene's killer. Charlene's supposed to graduate in like another year or two. Go off to college and this is what happens to her. June 3rd, 2012, 8 p.m., Willow Street, Cambridge. A gunman in a car opens fire at a group of people on a porch. Two teenage girls are hit. One survives, but the other, 16-year-old Charlene Holmes, a sophomore student at Cambridge Ridge in Latin, does not. I found her laying right here, eyes open, stretched out, arm like this. And I took her hand in mine, and I said, just pull through. Charlene's murder was the only homicide in Cambridge in 2012. It stunned the city. The next night, hundreds of shocked mourners filled Charlene's neighborhood and a field right across the street. <laughs> Two years later, Willow Street is quiet. Charlene's murder case is unsolved. But Cambridge police are still looking for Charlene's killer, and they are exclusively releasing to New England's Unsolved these surveillance images of the car used in the drive-by shooting murder of Charlene Holmes. Police are trying to get people talking. What frustrates us is just this code of silence that we see. So there's a sense of fear that uh, if someone comes forward, that their life's going to be in danger. Cambridge Police Deputy Superintendent Paul Ames answered the call the night Charlene was killed. We're very confident that Charlene was not the target of this shooting. She had no history of violence. She had no history of crime. Uh, she was a wonderful person, well-loved in, in her community, well-loved by the school, uh, her friends. So um, she's clearly the victim here. Charlene Holmes lived on Willow Street, just a few doors down from where she was killed. On June 3rd, 2012, just before 8, Charlene walked down her street and stopped to talk to a friend at the front porch of 3436 Willow Street. But there were others on that porch, too. Charlene Holmes could not know that the killer had already circled the block once, likely spotted the target, and was coming back five minutes later to finish the job. In that small, short time frame that she stopped, that's when the car came back, shots were fired from inside the vehicle, and Charlene was hit in her friend way, was hit with a gunfire. Police believe the killer was actually aiming for someone else on the porch, but Charlene and her friend were in the way. Trouble is, no one in that group on that porch is talking to police. There was a group of people on those stairs, and I, can ima I, I would imagine that someone on that stairs would know who would be firing shots at them. Take another look at the car. It's a black four-door sedan, possibly a foreign car. These images may be the best chance of breaking open this frustrating case. There's no... Um identifying plate number on it. It's a side image of the car, but if someone recognizes it, um, we're hoping that they'll come forward, at least let us know who they think is the owner of that vehicle. Two years to the day after Charlene Holmes was murdered, hundreds returned to the streets of Charlene's neighborhood demanding justice. At Cambridge Police Headquarters, a picture of Charlene Holmes is always near. It's just not that we need the reminder, but it's to look at that photo and, and never forget that we need to keep working to solve this case. Two years after this young, vibrant life was taken, Charlene Holmes is not forgotten, and neither is the search for her killer. She's walking down the street, she sees a group of people on the stairs. She doesn't think twice about stopping to have a conversation. Who would? To have a drive-by shooting uh, in that neighborhood is not the norm. Quite frankly, if someone is that casual about shooting at someone, missing their target, killing someone, uh, I would imagine that they'd be willing to do that again. So we need to get these people off the street. The family and friends of Charlene Holmes are desperate for justice. If you recognize that car in the surveillance photos, if you've heard something, if you know something, call now. You can call Cambridge Police at 617-349-3370. Or you can call Massachusetts State Police assigned to the Middlesex County DA's office at 781-897-6600.
For New England's Unsolved, I'm Bob Ward, Fox 25 News.